<laughs> Come here, Moo Moo. Yes, good girl. Um, we've been here for about 24 hours, so we're getting ready to leave. Um, I believe it's the same here, too. Um, I've seen motorhomes parked here, but I believe it's a 72-hour parking, so then you have to move. So I know there was a meter maid that came through, or the um, parking enforcement. Want to get back over there? Yes, get over there. But the parking enforcement came through, and she said it was fine to park here, so... Yeah, we're going to get on the road here in just a second. I've got to set my coordinates into my GPS. We're a thousand miles from comfort. We have tried to land and see. But as long as you are with me, there's no place I'd rather be. Let's get on the road. Um, this site actually, like I said, I got off that um, the free camping website, freecamping.net, and it got a lot of bad reviews, which I can understand because the neighborhood it's industrial, but it's not the best neighborhood. But it's not the worst I've seen. The one in San Francisco was really bad. Um, this one's not that bad. And plus it was right by the aquatic park and we could go for a hike. Yeah, it's just an industrial neighborhood. And there's a few good restaurants. Uh, see, I don't know if you can see that, but there's like three RVs right there. And there's a RV kind of thing. <laughs> I think that's a step van or whatever. And there's three more RVs right here. So yeah, people definitely park here. And it doesn't seem that bad. I don't know. Those um, reviews were a couple months old. So there's another RV there. The one that was in front of me, actually. The roads are a bit tight. So if you're in a Class B or a Class C, I don't... I've seen class A's here too, but not really large class A's. Alright, we're getting ready to get back on 80, which is right up here. So yeah, as far as that place goes in Berkeley, that's on um, freecamping.net, that got bad reviews. In all honesty, it wasn't that bad. I, there was one bad thing about it is that there is a train there and it goes by quite frequently but um, after a while um, the later it gets it does stop so but then again you know you have to experience things for yourself traffic kind of sucks here but yeah um, reviews as far as they go that's just one person's experience and they write a review on it that doesn't mean that's how your experience is going to be so I don't always follow reviews wholeheartedly. It's best to just experience something yourself. Yeah, the traffic kind of sucks around here. But I will say that um, I do feel more comfortable not having a tow vehicle driving in um, smaller areas like this. It has a steep hill, but no problem there now that I'm not towing 3,000 pounds. <laughs> and here's the entrance for the freeway to 80 East. Oh, Lordy, what time is it? That's only 4.12. Oh, Jesus, traffic is awful. Well, thank God I got a full tank of gas. <laughs> Jeez Louise. Bring it over. Thank you. Thank you. How you feeling, Moo Moo? Hmm? Take a Mickey Moo Moo? <laughs> Alright, well, I'm sure y'all don't want to sit here and watch me sit in traffic. It's kind of boring, so I'll see y'all in a little bit when I get up the road. Yep, traffic's still bad. 
I didn't realize Berkeley was so big. But um, I'm in the le uh, last two lanes over to the left. So that's 480 Sacramento, actually. It says I could have used any one of these. That's a big hill with a bunch of houses on it over there. <laughs> surprised they um, actually do that here where they have earthquakes. He's built so many homes on the hillsides. It just seems to be asking for trouble. Well, this is the sucky thing about living in high populated areas. I couldn't do this every day. This would totally suck. But um, yeah, it's the congestion and the traffic. It's just awful. Mm-hmm. We just entered El Cerrito um, city limits. Not getting very far. Uh, I hope it's not like this all the way to Sacramento, which is 55 miles. <laughs> that would truly suck. The carpool lane seems to be going pretty fast. Well, we're entering San Pablo. Traffic still sucks. It's a little better, not much. <laughs> well, there's a casino to the left-hand side. Well, I'm sure they have boondocking there. I still haven't boondocked at a casino, but I'm not a big gambler, so... And I'm sure they want you to gamble if you're going to park in their parking lot. There it is right there. Casino! Exit now, turn left. Yay! The traffic finally cleared up after we passed that whole area. And I encountered a couple hills and some steep inclines. It's so nice not ha having Panda struggle going uphill. <laughs> dollars thank you
Sacramento. Yeah, I don't get stressed out anymore with hills coming up. <laughs> thinking that my destination was only 26 well now it says 26 miles but that's just where my turning point is my destination's actually 51 miles Ew, so I still have an hour to go well depends on the traffic I guess oh cool Nevada license plate that's where I'm headed after Sacramento. Vicayville is um, nine miles, Sacramento 41. And we're passing Travis Air Force Base, which is at this next exit. Also at this exit is the Air Museum. That sounds cool. My dad was in the Air Force. So I saw all that stuff growing up air shows, air museums. Ah, I wonder if this is what was stopping up traffic. The GPS did say there was an incident. Oh, maybe that was it. Traffic actually clears up. Sun's about to go down soon. But it is only 5.30. It's a cool looking area. You can tell we're heading further up north because there seems to be more trees. Vacayville city limits are entering now. It's weird, I haven't seen any RVs at all, which is odd to me. A lot of truckers, but I haven't seen any RVs, which I usually see one or two or three. Oh, those are some beautiful hills. There's a Walmart right there. <laughs> 
but no, I want to get to Sacramento, so, which is only 40 miles away. And there's a Lowe's right across the street, too. Dixon is 8 miles, Sacramento 32, Reno 165. Reno is actually my next destination. And it's actually um, pretty flat here. I haven't come across any hills around this area, which is cool. Yep, it's definitely pretty flat around here. No hills. We are past all the hills, I guess. like flat farmland. I get better gas mileage when it's flat like this rather than having to trek up the hills. Sacramento Valley exit 60. Sacramento is 11 miles, Auburn is 44, and Reno 144. Sun's almost gone. Thank God it's behind me and not in front of me. <laughs> Blinding me. The traffic was going good there for a while. It's starting to slow down now. We're in the Dixon area. Trailers and campers, gusty winds, next five miles. That's a neat looking farm building, something. I'm, I'm not sure what that is. Maybe it's like some kind of grain processing place, facility. I see big grain bins at the end. We're passing exit 78. I see the city of Sacramento, the tall, tall buildings kind of cool because it's like farmland and prairie land then city <laughs> big buildings that's uh, probably why the traffic is starting to slow down because we're coming into the Sacramento area Reno, North Lake Tahoe, exit two and a half, or I'm sorry, two and a quarter miles. Industrial Boulevard, next exit. Yeah, that's usually why, where I like to boondock is industrial places. But we're just going to go to Walmart because I'm going to pick up some stuff. Yeah, Reno tomorrow, then Salt Lake City next. see it in the distance right there but we're getting ready to cross over the Sacramento River yeah there it is right there I'm about nine miles from my exit that's pretty cool there it is and we're also crossing the Sacramento County line and I need to get over. Thank you. That trucker's from Oklahoma. There's a lot of farmland out there. I wasn't aware there was so much farmland. And there's homes over here. Solar panels, I see solar panels on roofs. There's the junction for five if you want to head to Redding, which is north, I believe, and Los Angeles, which is south. Oh, shoot. Oh, crapper. Dang it. <laughs> That's what I get for not paying attention. Well, thank God there's an exit back out to it. Definitely don't want to go to Redding. Come on, person. 
Well, that was um, five north and south. Yay, back out to 80. <laughs> I guess I should pay attention. Thank you. Got six miles till my exit. Right there. There's a Home Depot there too. That was exit 88. Well, if the other Walmart doesn't pan out for me, I could always backtrack to this one. So, where's this trucker from? Illinois. Here's my exit. Exit 93. Coming up in a half a mile. It's Longview Drive. Sacramento is pretty big. My turn, Winona. This looks very industrial. This reminds me of places that I park at before. Oh, where is it? Uh, oh, there it is. To the right. I think I gotta go up here a little bit. Really, lady? Get off your phone before you get run over. somewhere. Took me around the back way. Oh, that's sad. Well, their parking lot is pretty big. Which is a good thing. Here. While we're here, and I think Moo needs to go out and use the restroom, don't you? Yes, that was a long one for you. <laughs> Alright, well, I'm going to let Moo Moo out. Yes. Yeah, there's your food if you're hungry. Well, I'm going to fix me something to eat. And Moo Moo's getting ready to eat too. So, she just used the restroom. She's a good girl. She held it all the way. Yes, good girl. So, yep. Yeah, we're just going to call it a night. I'm going to go into Walmart and do a little shopping. And, um. Then come out and watch some of my shows. And just relax for the rest of the night. So, Thanks, y'all. I want to thank you for coming along, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.